I feel a miracle is happening. Rabbi Rani Kahana, a resident at Maimonides Geriatric Center, is waiting to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Tuesday, if everything goes according to plan. We feel that it's such an answer to our prayers that this vaccination might come and, and end this nightmare and allow us to touch each other again, hug each other again. Quebec will receive 4,000 vaccine doses in the coming days. Maimonides, which has already recorded dozens of deaths, is at the very top of the list. We've been fighting this uh, disease for the last nine, ten months. We finally have a tool to be able to stop it. The home is getting about half the doses. It's going to make a big difference. Hundreds of healthcare workers are also booked to get their shots. Centre d'Hébergement Saint-Antoine in Quebec City hopes to get its doses as early as tomorrow. Nous allons débuter de la vaccination. Patricia McKinnon, a health network coordinator, says they will start vaccinating residents tomorrow. If the doses aren't there, they'll begin Tuesday, starting with 89-year-old Gisèle Levesque. Once residents are inoculated, those in private retirement homes and isolated communities are next. Valeria Corey Minocchio, CBC News, Montreal. Well, let's bring in infectious diseases physician Dr. Zane Chagla now. What do you think, Dr. Chagla, we will see once the first doses are actually administered in terms of case numbers? Yeah, I mean, we know this vaccine has effects within 10 to 14 days. They're not profound, but they certainly look like it starts working based on the data. I think we're, we're going to see slight reductions, particularly as we're getting to vulnerable individuals. Outbreaks might get a bit smaller. But again, it, time will tell. This is a, a new vaccine. We still don't know whether or not it completely prevents the disease or simply just minimizes the symptoms. Uh, and so I think it'll, it'll be real world experience that'll give us the story. There is, uh, as you know, vaccine hesitancy still out there. Mm -hmm. What do you think doctors and governments need to be doing right now to reach people who may still have those hesitations? Yeah, I mean, it's a healthy skepticism, and I, I think that there's there's no problem to it. I think that the transparency is key here, communicating risks, being honest with the public about adverse reactions, but also conveying that in terms of COVID and its risks and adverse reactions and really letting people make that balanced judgment towards it. So the more transparency, the more communication, the better this is going to be. Okay, Dr. Chagla, we're going to leave it there for now. Thank you very much. You mm -hmm. will be back, though, with us. We're going to connect with Dr. Chagla and Dr. Lenora Saxinger just a little bit later on in the show to answer the questions that you have sent us and you have sent us a lot.